It just did not happen. A man lauded as a potential future Prime Minister, pleading his innocence in the face of the gravest of allegations. I can say categorically that what has been put in various forms, in allegations, simply did not happen. The Attorney-General of the Commonwealth identifying himself as the Cabinet Minister accused of an historical rape dating back decades. Are you OK? I've got to say, my answer, my honest answer is I really don't know. A report by the ABC's Four Corners detailing claims from a woman who took her own life before her allegations were made public. She was very strong and very clear, as you can hear in her own words. They just never happened. <laughs> Christian Porter strenuously denied the allegation, suing the public broadcaster. Any Australian could have their lives and careers ruined by the unchallenged printing of sensationalist accusations alone. Pursuing a defamation claim while serving as Attorney General untenable. He was moved to the industry portfolio before discontinuing the case and claiming victory. That is a humiliating back down for the ABC no matter what way they want to spin it. An argument disputed by the broadcaster with no apology ever offered. My lawyers, whilst they are very good, are very, very expensive. Morning, everyone. Who paid already in question a week earlier. Would you rule out crowdfunding? Um, I'd prefer not to do that. Legal fees believed to be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars paid in part by mystery donors. It's a blind trust. He cannot disclose to me um, who those donors are. Refusing demands his supporters be identified, Mr Porter moved to the backbench. The Minister has taken the decision which uh, errs on the side of upholding the highest standard. This is a brown paper bag stitched together by lawyers. A former WA State Treasurer, Charles Christian Porter, entered Federal Parliament in 2013, promoted to Cabinet as Social Services Minister in his first term. In 2017, he launched a strident defence of efforts to recoup money from welfare recipients, a scandal soon dubbed robo-debt. We will not, not pause the system. We are constantly refining the system. Years later, the Commonwealth settled a class action to the tune of $1.2 billion. <laughs> Christian Porter had already moved on to the role he long coveted, that of Attorney General. That's right. Malcolm yeah. Turnbull gave him the position despite concerns he was seen at a Canberra drinking hole with a young woman. People who put themselves into positions where they can be compromised or blackmailed are really taking an, a, a risks and unacceptable risks. Something Mr Porter rejected. Under Scott Morrison, he said about designing a federal anti-corruption commission. This is not a show trial body criticised as a secret watchdog lacking teeth. An investigative body necessarily investigates in a non-public way, which is very different from operating in secret. A gifted politician, Christian Porter, had insisted he would continue on as the Liberal member for the Outer Perth electorate of Pearce. I'm running at the next election, committed to my seat, to the people I represent, absolutely. But unable to shift the cloud over his reputation... And there's no turning the clock back. He's now called time on his political career. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.